What is going on guys? Talladega Night Shyamalan here coming back at you with another video and today we're back on 49ers franchise um, and it's been a little while. Hope you guys have liked how much I'm pushing out this series though. Been doing it uh, at a more consistent level and it's week one of season number four I believe episode 27 or so and um a lot of new additions to the team. If you guys did not see the offseason, I would recommend watching that now. Gave you a second to pause, and even then, you can still pause now. But here's how we did in the draft. Joey Lockler, number one overall pick. We traded up to get him. Now an 85 overall superstar development player. We played preseason. We upgraded him a little bit before. You're seeing this right now. He was not 84. Um, we've traded away Jimmy Garoppolo. Joey Cummings has been relegated to third string, getting some new fresh faces in there, along with bringing in another Wiley brother in Keegan Wiley. There's also a fourth Wiley brother at halfback we have. We've also traded for Devontae Parker. This will be a theme with the controller, I'm sure. We've traded away, or at least moved away, some other pieces in the offensive line. Trading for Taylor Moten of the Carolina Panthers. We've drafted Ben Dre. Ben Dre? Ben Dre, right tackle, quick development. We've traded for O.J. Howard. In the process, moving away, everyone's favorite tight end, John New Smith. Defensively, we've drafted a sick group of linebackers. Dre Prelo, Craig Bolston. We've signed Keanu Neal in free agency. We've drafted Perry Curry out of the University of Alabama. What else have we done? We've traded for... Star Dolphins defensive end, Dawson Henderson, who's a monster. We've traded for Carl Lawson as pass rush depth. This is a very, very good team. This is a team that's ready to compete, ready to just go after it at the next level. And I, for one, am super excited. I am ready. It's going to be a fun one. going to be a great season four, I think. Sliders have been adjusted. I think these are going to play amazingly. I hope they do. We had a really tough preseason game. We didn't end up winning. Maybe that's a good sign. We have the Philadelphia Eagles here. It's a 405 game. Season opener. We are a 91 overall to their 90. We've got a huge thing of brand cola. I'm ready. All right. No, well, hold on. Brand cola. All right. I am ready for this game. Bengus Khan coaching. Got stars like Dante Buchanan budding. Rookie quarterback Joey Lockler. Brothers Wiley. There are four of them now. Oh, it's a good time. It is a good time. I'm ready to go. Let's get it, baby. Keep forgetting I gotta not show that logo. This is we're this is not a sponsored video, alright? Obviously, not a sponsored video. Gotta keep the brands out of it. That store brand cola, alright? Eagles Niners, I'm ready to go. Fun fact, by the way, I don't think the Eagles have Carson Wentz. He was a free agent. They may have not retained him. But that's just my oh, opinion. What's up, Bradley, our kickoff specialist? Uh, you know, everyone says you got to fix your controller. My controller's not broken. The cord I have attached to it is, uh, which is a big problem. This, well, it's not a big problem. It's a decent problem. Considering I don't have fresh batteries in the back of my controller, which means every time the wire comes out because the wire's broken... Um, or the, the prong is, it screws up, but I'm so excited for this season, y'all don't even know, who's number 12, Davidson, we're gonna, oh, that's, that's a lot of good blocking, Donnell Pumphrey, to the outside, seven yards, the sliders have been changed, they're still very hard, I think this is just gonna play better, it's gonna be just the right amount of challenge, which should be a good time, what is this matchup, this looks like Gun doubles wide, something like that. It's a screen. Alshon Jeffrey makes a juke inside, but you guys are gonna have to watch out for this guy. The newest 49er, Dawson Henderson. He's a monster. Third and five. All right, way more turnovers this year. Let's get after it. Someone's got to go after me. He can't be that open. Big hit by Keanu Neal. Ball's loose. It's recovered by Derek Winfield, who steps out of bounds. I'm telling you, this is going to be a good season, and that is a great start. We have Keanu Neal, a safety that can hit as hard as he can. 
it is going to be difficult to throw the ball in front of him. Let's hand the ball off to Marcus Wiley. Decent blocking. I don't know. I feel like he's a good every down back. I don't know if he has the potential to ever be great, which is very upsetting. I'm not sure, though. Hopefully, Dante Buchanan decides to stay on the field for more than a quarter this season. We're actually going to throw to him. That's a fumble. That's recovered by uh, by Brandon Graham there. Is that where is number 57? It's not. Brandon Graham, I think, is 95. I don't know why I said that. Uh, that was not great. That is not a good start to the season. <laughs> it, things have changed very quickly. Is he really on his feet still? Are you kidding me? That's a huge hit on the sideline by Keanu Neal. It's a great start for, I, I believe, the rookie quarterback, Davidson. Should learn his first name. I don't really give a hoot or holler, if I'm being honest. First and 10. I've seen that before. Here's check down. That is so open. Are you kidding me? That's a huge hit from Jacorius Ward, and he is injured. Not Jacorius. He don't give a shit. All right, if we can make the stop here on first and goal from the one, that would be phenomenal. I just, I don't have a lot of faith. Oh, my God. I should have. Dre Priolo, the rookie linebacker, in in the goal line package, and he's making a gigantic play. Backing them up to the four. All right. We got this. Let's stop him. He's rolling out. What? It didn't... Oh, God. How did I not hit him there? He's down to the one. Third and goal from the one. I tried to force a fumble. I'm, I'll, I'll be honest. I tried to force a fumble. I just don't know how he didn't hit him. He lunged in front. All right, let's play hard flats there. Let's play the interception. He's got a QB draw it. What the... Come on! It's a good play call, I guess. Doug Peterson's out here getting creative. That's fine. We'll just have to answer somehow. That's a maniac QB draw call, I gotta say. Absolutely wild. All right. So, you know, rookie quarterback, we made a rookie mistake in, you know, forcing the ball to Dante Buchanan, not getting the throw off quickly enough. Kerry Davidson's our quarterback. Um, we do have, I think, finally a true number one in Devontae Parker, which is cool. Let's roll out. We do actually have some mobility as well. Um, we're actually going to throw that ball. A little bit off the mark there, Joey. All right. Not great. Not a great first NFL throw. Because that really technically is. It's regular season now. That's not a great first throw. He was under pressure. Uh, but I kind of need him to make that. We're going to step up. Joey Lockler. Jimmy Garoppolo. Who? Spinning. Oh, no. The ball's on the ground. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's two fumbles in one quarter. Recovered by Marcus Wiley, who gets credit for five yards there on a rush somehow. Actually, he didn't get... That was from before. Okay, never mind. Uh, Dre Prelo is also in a tight end. Where is George Kittle? I have no idea. I think now that we have a quarterback that's a little bit more mobile, he does only have 80 speed as Walter Wiley checks in the game. We do have the option here. Holy shit. That's a, that's a face mask. What are you doing? Saving me yardage, I think, by the looks of it. Um, but we do have a more mobile quarterback now. We definitely are going to be able to run the ball with him a little bit more, which I think is good when the offensive line maybe doesn't hold their blocks for long enough. So I'm good with that. I'm also running a new playbook, so it might take me a little while to get used to it, as I think I'm going to try and streak George Kittle there, and hopefully uh, the blitz is picked up. And it is. Oh, I could have had George Kittle. I'm going to throw that pass, though. It's Joey Lockler to Dante Buchanan. He was not in bounds. There's no way. They just didn't catch it in bounds. They're going to challenge it. Or review. Are they not? Okay, all right. See, my main problem with Marcus Wiley, and I'm not sure if you guys have realized this as well, he doesn't really break many tackles the way Joey Cummings did. He's kind of just like moving forward. Is Walter Wiley, is he the new Joey Cummings? Brothers Wiley. One part of it, one-fourth of it on this team gets into the end zone. Not a bad run. Breaking a tackle, fighting his way into the end zone, using speed to outrun the other defenders. Hey, well, I'm down for it. Seven all. Pretty good drive. A little bit wonky with a fumble in there. Uh, and, you know, some weird throws, some weird catches, slash non-catches on the sideline. I don't think he caught that in bounds, Dante Buchanan, but I, I'm not going to challenge it. 
you imagine I did and they're like, yeah, it's not totally not a catch. What are you fucking challenging it for? The Jason Morrow in motion? Who remembers Jason Morrow? We're all over that with Ruben Foster. Nowhere to go. Fuck, this controller, this wire, I should say. Everyone's blaming my controller in the comments. It's not even his fault, all right? It's trying its best. It's the controller. Nope, nope. It's the it's the charger cable. What are they doing here? We're going we're gonna to get a Perry Curry back there. Maybe they miss it. It's a long field goal. This is a long field goal. Would really like to have uh, someone else back there. Are you serious? All right, whatever. That was a long field goal. That, that is a press. I feel really worried about throwing a screen there. I'm going to throw it down, though. Dante Buchanan, get the edge. There we go. There we go. Not the way I wanted to spin. I feel like it always goes the wrong way somehow. God, this controller! This is charger! God! All right, Marcus. There we go. Get to the outside. There we go. Truck him over. Oh, my goodness. Marcus Wiley. He's still going. What a run. All right. I said he didn't really break many tackles. There he goes. Breaks two in the same run. And we're in the second quarter. Doesn't look like anybody too important off the rip here. But, I mean, you never know. We're going to step out there. We're going to throw that ball underneath. It's O.J. Howard. He drops the ball. Are you? <laughs> I mean, can we catch a break here? This fucking god it controller charger whatever dude I'm about, I'm about to find batteries it's coming out like after every play i don't really want to hold it in it's kind of annoying that's fourth and three i didn't even realize the, the situation we're just gonna play to tie all right been a pretty good game so far really wish we could either a generate more pressure on the rookie qb um or we could convert more offensively or force a turnover or something, but I feel like our offense had done it's done pretty well. We got a rookie QB out there, uh, a couple of like you know fresh running backs that haven't seen much starting experience in Marcus Wiley and Walter Wiley, as Joey Cummings has kind of you know been relegated to uh, the bench area. So I feel like the offense has been decent, but something we can't allow is this quarterback Kerry Davidson to keep tearing apart our defense time and time again. Third and seven, do we send a blitz here? We actually will, but that's a screen. That's a great time for it, but it's Aaron Merritt. Was a good cornerback for us. Moved to safety last year. Not so great. Safety was drafted early to replace him, and he's been relegated to, uh, I guess, dime packages and stuff like that. That's a really good play. Uh, unlike that punt, what the fuck is that? Stay away! Stay away! Stay away! Come with Joey. All right. I know you want the ball, but no. All right, third and one. I think we're going to pass here. Play action. I'm going to lob that ball up. Oh, it's a perfect pass. OJ Howard, stay in bounds. Hold on. Perfect. And there's his contract. It's a big one. It is a big one. But we just re-signed. Why not show it off? I'm not controlling the graphics, but, you know, I understand it. All right, third and 10. Got to convert here. Just need a little bit of time. We're going to throw that ball. It's Sanchez Heaney over the middle. He's into the end zone for the touchdown. Perfect spot. And that's Joey Lockler's first career passing touchdown. Hey, we're out here doing it. Went up against man. Shredded it. It's too easy. <laughs> Got him. Where's our free safety? Back up, back up. Still a run. Oh, my God. Up the middle. No. Chase him down. Curry. That's not where I wanted you to dive. Jacorius works really fast. Tracked him down. Donald Pumphrey walked right up the middle. And yeah, I just don't... I don't love it. And they're going to run that ball. Dude, why is he... Throws off Aaron Mary. He's in the end zone for the touchdown. All right. Hey, man. I was just too fast. Outran Reuben Foster. We couldn't do anything. There we go. Second and six. Let's make something happen. Y is open. We're going to check down. It's Devontae Parker. Might be his first catch as a 49er. You know, of course, outside the preseason. Everything I say is going to be outside the preseason. Um, I think it might have been. Yeah, that's his first catch as a 49er. 
That'll work. Third and one. Let's try if we can convert for a first down here. We're going to throw that ball to Dante Buchanan first down. Maybe he had the opportunity for more. Couldn't get it, but we're moving the ball a little bit. What are you doing with whoever Zach Kubiak is it? I don't like that very much. I think it's going to be tough to convert this. We're going to throw that ball. Okay. We're going to punt. That's a play action. We're about uh, back over the middle. No one's there for that one, though. Zach Ertz takes a monster shot to the fucking kneecap. Kerry Davidson's still perfect on the day. That got me really pissed seeing 8 for 8. This rookie QB is brutalizing this defense. And that's a touchdown. Oh, they're calling it out of bounds. Looked like more of a catch than Dante Buchanan's earlier, to be honest. But it's just like... I don't know what his accuracy is, but he's fitting in the perfect pass every single time to the open guy. Making the perfect read every time. And it's really tough. He missed maybe on that time. Looked like a miscommunication with Donnell Pumphrey. And they're going to settle for a field goal. We still have three timeouts. It's possible that we could score. Unlikely. Oh, we could have something here with OJ Howard. Streaking him. We're actually going to... Come on, man! We're going to go hurry up. Get back to the line. Man, pressure got in so quickly there. The reason I'm doing it this way is because, I mean, we'd have to settle for the field goal pretty much anyway. And there's a fumble. Are you kidding me? Timeout. God, this went badly quickly. They were in the backfield so quickly there. Thank God we got the win with us, and Brandon McManus is a huge leg. Should be able to kick this. Right on the money. Up. Good. No problem. We're going to tie the game going to the half. Hey, man, whether it's fair or not, it's a tie game. And we're having a pretty good one. See you in the third quarter. Pressure's coming in. Step up. It's Joey Lockler. That's what Jimmy Garoppolo... He fumbled! I tried to slide! God! What? Ah, oh, come on. Why would I dive there? I fumbled four times with him. It's like Tony Romo level stuff. Is that a draw? It's play action. That's in a traffic. Derek Winfield. He made a play on the ball. Made the deflection. I'll take it. Feel like that ball easily could have been intercepted. It's all right. I'm gonna settle for a field goal attempt. I would say 99.9% .9 sure that they convert this. All right, third and two. This is a huge third down. Because we convert this, it could lead to a touchdown. I'm gonna step up in the pocket. We're gonna run. I'm, dude. What am I doing that I'm not sliding? I swear I'm taking my finger off right trigger, holding LT and X. I might not be timing it well. I don't know, but that's like... That can't happen again. It really can't. We're going to throw that ball. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, we had a, maybe a touchdown. I got to show you real... I have to. I have to. Look at Joe, Joey Lockler. Thought we are going to step up and run. I saw that over in the middle. I just didn't trust all Madden CPU and him fucking jolting back across the middle. So I step up to run. I see wide open Dante Buchanan. Throw him the ball. Wide open. Fucking duck Devante. It hits him in the back of his shoulder. Nearly intercepted. I would have been furious. I'm so mad we didn't get the touchdown. That was an easy touchdown. Now we're never going to convert. Let's hand the ball off to Walter. Oh my goodness, Walter Wiley, Walter Wiley, end zone, touchdown, his second on the game. How did that end up being a touchdown? I have no idea. I have no idea. Again, not complaining, how could you? That was almost blocked. <laughs> I'm trying to get over, covering deep, someone bring him down. That's our first sack. That is our first sack there. He fell down, and we managed to touch him. Okay. Fourth quarter action. They're still going to punt, I assume. Second and 19. All right. I had to force that one to Dante Buchanan quickly. 
Decent gain. Third and 11. Not in a great spot. Dante Buchanan has eight catches. He's on pace for a few this year. There's, there it is. We're, we got to go right back to Dante Buchanan. He's wide open. Joey Lockler's favorite target. The young gun throwing to an, another young fella. Might run a similar play. Another crosser, cross pattern. This one will mix up a bit. Kalan Adkins is in. It's notable. That's a great block. We're going to throw that ball. Drive and catch Sanchez Heaney. All right. Good, good job getting the ball somewhat on the money. Maybe had a touchdown, but that was a tough throw. If we slant Sanchez Heaney, Dante Buchanan could be open underneath on a drag, or Sanchez Heaney off the rip. I didn't really see anything open there, and he's going to fumble the ball for the fifth time today, and we're not going to recover it. Oh, my God. Are you fucking serious? How do you have a half a tackle? An assisted tackle? That doesn't really count as a half a tackle. It's just a different type. I can't... Oh, man. Ugh. We're going to start trying to send more heat in effort to get to this quarterback. Because we have not been able to any other way. And uh, he's just going to continue to find the gap in the in the defense. I mean, no matter what. Just reads it immediately. Makes a throw. We're getting crushed out here. There's nothing I can do. We're going to blitz Quan Alexander, though. Maybe that will do something. Oh, finally, pressure and a real sack. Willis Burdine and Quan Alexander combined for half a sack there. Unbelievable. All right, we're in a bit of a man. Dre Prelo's in. We're going to man up here. And that's a throwaway. I'll take it. They're in field goal range. Question is, with 3-11 left, will they take the field goal? I don't think so. Looks like they're going to go for the field goal, though. Making it a one-point game. 3-11 to go. I guess they do have three timeouts. Two-minute warning. I guess you probably would kick the field goal here. And that, that just sneaks over. That's a really big tackle. Uh, they're from Derek Barnett. So, it's third and 14 here. I think we should keep the ball on the ground. I mean, they're out of timeouts already. Should we attempt... The first. Yeah, I think I'm going to get greedy. So I wonder if I should block O.J. Howard. I can move him inside. That's a hitch. We're just actually going to streak him. Hopefully take away the safety. And then to go one-on-one -on -one for Dante Buchanan. That'd be my goal. If he gets open to get separation. Block shed immediately. Immediately. That's his sixth fucking sack. No, nah, please. Please. I know it's a rookie tackle. All right. He's getting fucking brutalized. Brutalized. Now you're right. I guess he held his block for, what is that? Snap. One, one thousand. One and a half seconds, maybe. If that. 21 seconds. No timeouts. Please, can we stop them? That's got to be a sack. He got two yards. They're not going to be... Maybe they're going to get this playoff. They might. Yeah, I think they will. They're going to get one play. Oh, they spike it? They have one play, one second. We might as well just go man up three deep. One second. Don't get beat over the top. Shut down Donald Pumphrey myself. These are the goals. He's blocking. And he's going to lob it up immediately. It's a user pick. You're damn right it is. Easy reads. Green eggs and ham. It's been a while. It counts. All right. We got the win. All right. That's all that matters. Uh, game didn't play great. I thought their QB was ridiculously good. I thought he was ridiculously good. Made no mistakes. His one interception should not have been. Um, Joey Lockler was, I think, was pretty solid overall in his debut. 
rushing. Donald Pumphrey destroyed us. Walter Wiley was super solid in his attempts. Marcus Wiley was also very, very good, I have to say. Joey Lockler as well. Dante Buchanan always tears apart. Tenshius Heaney had a pretty good game as well. Uh, blocking, Ben Dre, the rookie right tackle, was horrific. Really bad. Tackles for loss. DeForest Buckner had one. A couple players had one. Uh, we got essentially no pressure. Half a sack for Burdine and Alexander. That needs to change. Ruben Foster got a pick. Force fumble for Brandon Graham at three. Okay. Keanu O'Neill had one. Recovery went to Derek Winfield. Uh, obviously, no defensive touchdowns. Decent game. If I think I had to change the sliders, which I might, just to make it play better. And that was a fun game. But it felt like some stuff was really hard to stop despite having a really solid team. Like, for example, and I want this to play more realistically, but with, you know, some of those big plays that we all like to see. And if we go to Eagles here, and we go to quarterback, he's an 84 overall. He's not a rookie. He's got 86 deep, 86 medium, 89 short. Those played like they were all 99, which felt a bit ridiculous, I will say. And looking at that, our offensive line, they have Greg Robinson, Graham Glasgow, rookie center Roy Purvis, Brandon Brooks is solid, Lane Johnson super solid, but this side of the line's not great. Our offensive line is significantly better. And their defensive line, granted, it's very solid. They brutalized us. And if we look at our team, this is a very, very good defensive line, including Dawson Henderson with 99 power moves. Granted, he was going up against... Lane Johnson. Solomon Thomas wasn't. He is 92 finesse moves. I think I would, uh, I'm going to change the sliders very slightly. If we look at what it is right now, gameplay sliders. Uh, I think QB accuracy for us is fine. A couple incompletions here and there um, based on missed throws. That's fair. QB accuracy for them, I think, needs to be 21 or 20. Just move it down a little bit. And pass blocking needs to be 17 or 18. Uh, and you can't change it in here or else it doesn't really work. So I'm going to change that from the main menu. And I think it's going to play better. Because it shouldn't have played like that with zero pressure on the quarterback the entire game. Custom sliders have been changed. Pass blocking has been moved up to. Pass defense reaction time and pass coverage have been moved up uh, both to 80 from 75. QB accuracy moved down to 20. Pass blocking down to 17. Hope that should play better. I felt like, okay, their receivers were catching everything. But I think that's somewhat fair. We're going to leave that at 50 um, and go ahead here and simulate to the next week. Also, I am fielding offers for Eric Armstead. I will likely not accept any of those as we will face the Panthers here um, in week two. I don't think I'm going to play that game. We're going to play week three, though, for sure. And that will be next episode against the 1-1 one one Redskins as we are 2-0. and oh, Currently at the top of the NFC West ish there's an injury and it's Dawson Henderson and he has dislocated his angle his ankle he is out for seven fucking weeks awesome simulation is uh pretty cool that means Carl Lawson will now play right end Solomon Thomas I guess moved to the left and then offensively Dante Buchanan will be our two Sanchez Heaney stays in the slot that's an annoying injury fucking all right though it is what it is. See you in. See you next time.